he's uh, Mike O'Malley, actor, writer. He's busy. He was the Rick, the old ESPN commercials. That's probably the first time I met you when, yes. when you were the Rick. Now, you're doing a show on uh, Stars, and uh, the show is in the middle of the second season. It's uh, uh, produced by LeBron James. Correct. The executive producer. So you follow a basketball star, Cam Calloway, on and off the court. Uh, new uh, episodes air Saturday at 9.30 Eastern and uh, Pacific on Stars. Then you're also in the concussion movie with Will Smith. You're going to be in the movie Sully. Uh, Tom Hanks plays Sully. Yes, he plays Sully, and, and I play the guy who say, I think you could have taken that plane back to LaGuardia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is, <laughs> this is literally... <laughs> No, Dan, like, this is... What happened th to your acting uh, no, career? Well, well listen, I'm, I'm just playing older versions of overweight <laughs> white guys. Um, I mean, basically, that's... Uh, we, we don't go too far from the, the range of roles. And in this one, uh, I'm, I'm now in that part of my career where basically the only... The only villains in movies can, they've already exhausted the British guys, so now it's just middle-aged white guys. So I'm, I'm the guy who's saying, who's saying to Sully, I think you, I literally, like, you could have flown that back to LaGuardia. And every time I'm on camera, I'm like, you, you could have, I think you could have made it. No, simulation show, you could have made it. Is uh, Clint Eastwood? He's directing it. How was that? Well, I'm going down to work on it. Um, oh, maybe so I just got myself fired. <laughs> um, uh, I'm going down to work on it uh, next week in Atlanta. Intimidating? Uh, yeah, I'm intimidated, sure. I mean, I you mean, got Hanks and Clint, Clint Eastwood. Yeah, you just have to know your lines. I mean, I think when you're an actor, you know from, yeah. from the parts that you've done. That if you've done your preparation, you really, you know, you're, you're secure because you can, you can kind of move with whatever direction they give you. If you don't know your lines, that's the biggest thing because you're just thrown. What if, what, what if Tom Hanks doesn't know his lines? Are you allowed to... Like show disgust, like yeah, you just—that's very unprofessional, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so happens, embarrassed for you, Tom. What, <laughs> what happens when a guy like Tom Hanks doesn't know his lines? That's just process. <laughs> oh, <laughs> when right? you don't, it's yeah. unprofessional. It, well, because you're you're a day player. You're coming in there for a day, and you need to, you know, you're already getting on this moving train, and and they're counting on you to just be a guy who can, you know, nail your stuff and not be any problem. The biggest problem on a at a television show or a movie is when a, a day player or a guest actor doesn't know his stuff or is trying to take too much attention because, you know, the star is trying to do something that's a little bit different than anything that they've done. So they have to take a little bit more time for their so work. So Tom Hanks plays uh, Sully, uh, the uh, the Cap pilot who, who uh, landed, landed the plane, the plane on the, plane the Hudson, Hudson River. River. Yeah, so Tom Hanks plays that. Uh, the concussion movie with Will Smith. What's your role with uh, with Will Smith in the concussion movie? So uh, the concussion movie is about uh, Ben and Amalu who discovered CTE, the um, brain, uh, I don't want to say it's a disorder, but the brain damage that occurs uh, through repeated head trauma. I play the guy who doesn't want to buy uh, Ben and Amalu a new microscope to discover this. So, so you're trying to prevent yeah, him. Yeah, right. I'm, this is what I'm saying. This is the guy. So you're a bad He's guy. He's like, we're doing, we think we're on to something. I'm like, we can't. And when I work, <laughs> <laughs> I work in the, <laughs> I work in the uh, Allegheny County Coroner's Office. This guy, Ben Amalu, who they wrote about in League of Denial, the book, it, it, he's an amazing guy. He was this Nigerian coroner who worked in uh, the Allegheny County Coroner's Office in Pittsburgh. And he was a a man who took his job very seriously. He was a very caring man who really considered his job to be when someone died to be ushering them off into, you know, the afterlife, not, not to get hokey with it, but it was just a very, very caring man. And he, when Mike Webster, who played the Steelers. Uh, for the Steelers came in and he was, you know, a favorite son of that city. And he had been living in a van pulling his teeth out with pliers and super gluing them back into his mouth. And he's like, and they opened his brain up and it didn't show like uh, if you're an alcoholic that your brain would be all diseased. It didn't, it didn't add up. And so he started to do investigations of this. I play a, you know, basically a county um, civil worker who is in charge of who gets assigned what autopsies and who gets assigned you know, this, because he was wanted to begin to investigate it. And we're like, come on, bodies moving in, bodies moving out. This is, you know, it, it was a car crash, a blunt trauma. Let's go. You don't have to do any blood tests on these people. 
you know, not to say that, my, you know, my character didn't take his job seriously, but Ben and Amalu wanted to buy a new microscope. And I'm like, nope, you can't do that. Nope, you're not, that's a stealer. You're not going to cut his body open. And so I was, in a way, preventing him from this amazing discovery. Re so what's your, how many lines do you have? I had a bunch of lines. I was there for okay, a couple Okay, give weeks. me your money line. Let me hear you reenact re it. You can't do that! <laughs> I feel like I'm right there. Uh, you can't do that! That's Mike Webster! Come on! No need to cut his head open. That's Mike Webster. <laughs> he's a stealer. And the guy, he's from Nigeria. He has no idea what a stealer yeah, is. Yeah, he had no, idea. No, he had no idea. He had no agenda. No, His motive was just to find out why this was happening here. And they really shut him down. Yeah. They really shut him down. Then he started to make these findings in the NFL. He wanted to present them to him. And I, I, I think it's going to be very interesting when this movie comes out. Just Did they try to hire prostitutes to kind of uh, trap him? Keep me uh, no, interested? No, no, not you. Not you. Not <laughs> you. I, I had read where they were trying You're to... You're a prostitute! <laughs> Get out of my room! <laughs> did, they, did they do this to entrap him? That I, I was told that, that, that uh, there was some stuff... That I don't know about that. I do know that they did try to discredit him, without a doubt. And, you know, Alec Baldwin is great in the movie. Albert Brooks is great in the movie. Uh, and they play characters who tell him when he starts to uncover this and starts to want to publish these findings that you are going to get crushed by the NFL. You're going to get crushed by him. And, um, you know, you got to see the movie. It's, it's, a real, it's really well done. You're also working with LeBron James. No. Yes. Now, you're writing. I'm just I'm not acting in this. I'm writing a show. You created this. I created a show called Survivor's Remorse, which is on Stars. It's on uh, 930 on Saturdays. It's a show about a young basketball player. We've seen all these documentaries where athletes get a ton of money and they blow through it. And this is a show about a young man from New England who, uh, you know, grew up in the projects of Boston, gets a big contract, and he's a very caring thoughtful guy who wants to give back and his family doesn't want to give so much back um, that, you know, that, that he gives it away. In fact, Mike Epps, uh, who plays his uncle in the show says, give back. He's like, you didn't take nothing from anybody. <laughs> He's like, what is this give back? He's like, give back. If you want to give, give, but you don't, you don't make anybody think that you took it from somebody. Now does LeBron appear? LeBron is in uh, episode 209, which is uh, three weeks from now. He did an episode. He shot the episode four days uh, after the NBA Finals. He was amazing. So four days after the Finals, he shoots this. He came. We, we brought the whole production up to Akron, Ohio, and uh, he, was in, he was in a scene with uh, Chris Bauer, who, of course, is on The Wire, famously from The Wire, plays the team owner, um, and uh, Ron Rico Lee, who's one of the stars of our show, and... And he was just terrific. He was there for eight hours shooting a, a card scene, a card game, and uh, very funny, ad-libbing, um, giving him changes on the day. He's, you know, I'm sure you've met him. He's a very, uh, he's a magnanimous fellow. And I know it's hard for people who root for, root against him. Yeah. But he really does his ha have his heart in the right place. Uh, we're talking to Mike O'Malley, the actor, writer, uh, joining us in the man cave here. You got your uh, Red Sox hat on. How uh, wild card? Aren't there like seven of them now? <laughs> oh, aren't we still fighting for a lot wild card? How 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 defensive did you get during uh, Deflate Gate? Uh, I was, you know, I'll be honest. When I because I've been lying most of the show, um, <laughs> uh, I'm such a fan of Boston teams, and I grew up when they were bad, and so like anyone who has rooted for those teams, I take incredible pride in their success, outsize pride, which really doesn't, you know, make a lot of sense. That being said, when things happen, when players on your team do stuff that you don't dig or when these um, allegations started to come out, I was, I was sick to my stomach, right? And I'm 48 years old. It's ridiculous, you know. But because you want, uh, you, you want it to just be untrue. Uh, and so... When I first heard it, I thought, man, you know, I, well, they wouldn't report anything that isn't true. Uh, <laughs> you know, they wouldn't make a, as McLovin was saying, they wouldn't make a 
story out of a non-story? Not McLovin. You know? Not McLovin. No, I'm talking about Cam Newton. You're talking about Cam Newton. You're saying that in terms of Cam Newton, that this story, that it, you're, it's it's one non-story. You need 10 more non-stories. Well, I just say, like, it, it to me, it doesn't raise the level of story, but we pick apart everything NFL. Right. So uh, we're making a story. I'm just saying, like, what, what, what in terms of this, I was... I was defensive, but I stay off. I just like rooting for my team. I'm not a trash talker. But part talker. of you says the NFL wouldn't lie about this. like the, the, Right. The right? NFL wouldn't lie about that. ESPN wouldn't lie yeah, about it. Chris wouldn't. Mortensen wouldn't lie about it. They wouldn't have any angle. you know. But after having done this movie, Concussion, yeah. I am I have a different opinion about it. I'm not a – but I'm as a guy, I'm not a trash talker. I don't bet my friends who are Yankee fans. I don't bet my friends who are Jets fans. I don't – one time I bet – Billy Gardell, that the Patriots beat the Steelers and someone would have to dress up at work. And so he had to wear an entire Revolutionary War costume <laughs> at, um, <laughs> at uh, Yes, Dear Once. Uh, before, before I uh, say goodbye, you were uh, in 28 Days with Sandra Bullock. Right? I was. Now, you made out with Sandra Bullock, right? No, well, uh, I, I kissed her, yeah. How many takes? Uh, well, she we, we did a bunch of takes, and I'll tell you a story about this. In the movie... Um, she hit me so hard. That's can, can a real. I take, can I take a break here and come back? Yeah, to tell sure. This, just so I give you enough yes. time. Like, is there a big payoff here with Sandra Bullock? Well, we don't have sex or anything in real life. Oh, well, you're, not, you're supposed to tease that. Oh, sorry. Spoiler alert. Great. All right. Well, we'll, we'll come back. <laughs> Maybe with Michael. we will come back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you tell the story during the commercial break. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll be back after this.